Hi, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodelky and today's project is to knit uh, a soaker or also uh, in otherwise called a baby diaper cover. We need to cast on 16 stitches. Okay, and then we will always knit first two stitches so this is going to be knit and then again knit and purl knit and purl knit and purl and knit last stitch knit turn around and do the same thing again okay I will demonstrate second row with English style so we will knit first two stitches so this is going to be knit and knit and then we will do a purl okay so and as you see I am not very suave with this style but you get the point you know you get the uh, picture right so this is knit and with little practice I would probably get it just like uh, many of you but you know what can I do I prefer my continental style so I always return back to it so again knit purl so now knit and purl purl stitch okay and let me continue my continental style <laughs> okay so and um, after you finish this second row you will um, do two more rows okay so after I'm finished I'll do two more rows exactly the same way and that's going to be our waist waist part Oops, I need to knit this one, knit. Okay, I am not slipping the last stitch on this, in this video. And now I will demonstrate uh, two rows that you will repeat for, you know, several times. So we will do this first row we will, or this is actually fifth row, but let's go and say row one and row two, okay? Or row A and row B. So we will knit entire row one or row A. So knit, knit all of these stitches, knit 16 stitches. Okay. Our next step is to knit first four stitches. So knit one, two, three, and four. And now we will purl until last four stitches. So we will purl eight stitches. So purl eight stitches two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now you will knit four stitches. Knit, 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 knit. Okay, so this was our row uh, number two or, or row B. So, and now we will be doing again row A. 
or row same as row one okay and we will knit all the stitches and then we will do row B okay so repeat row A and B total seven times okay and this is my row B and this is my second times that I'm repeating it the first time that was my you know first uh, first one and two rows this is three and this is fourth row three I, am, I just am finishing row three and four and knit four last stitches in row B okay and I will do this five more times and when I do it five more times, I will show you what I do next. Okay, so I have done seven repeats, including those first two rows, rows uh, A and B. And I did that seven times. You can count. You can check your knits also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven repeats. And I measured. So let's measure. You see, and it's five and a half um, inches. And we need two more inches according to measurements that I found on the internet. So I need to do four more repeats. Uh, that means I need to make uh, uh, four more times rows A and B. Altogether, eight rows, okay? So I will do again knit um, all row A and then on the way back I will do four knit eight purl four knit stitches and I will do that four more times I have done uh, 11 repetitions altogether that means that after initial seven uh, repetitions I did four more and you can check if you have the same amount of these wavy ribs kind of like uh, which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you should have eleven of those after the okay my battery died again when I was uh, videotaping about this part I think I need new one uh, anyway so uh, now we will still keep uh, knitting in the same way row A and B which is knit all these uh, stitches and on the other side knit only first first four and last four and then purl in between but what we will start doing is we will start increasing right after the fourth stitch and before these last four stitches so we will increase here and here okay in these two places so let's go and I, let me demonstrate how to do that so we will knit first uh, first uh, four stitches okay one two three and four and now we have a yarn between this between this stitch and this stitch that's a leading yarn and we will make one right and uh, some of you already know uh, seen it in my, in my video so if you want to make a uh, right uh, increase then you go and pick it from the back and I always uh, pull it in here so I can and then hold it with my thumb in here so I can insert uh, my needle in a knit position and knit that stitch okay and you see that it's going to the right so this is my knit stitch okay and then we go and knit nine stitches I mean uh, eight stitches including this uh, this one will be nine okay until the last four stitches you don't even have to actually count you just have to look if you have four last stitches left and yes we do and now we will increase one to
to the left. So we will do the same thing again between these two stitches, between this one and this one, there is a leading yarn which you will go and pick up not from the back, you will pick it up from front, front to back, okay, and instead of knitting it like this way, you will, knitting, you will knit it through the back loop. So you will just insert your needle right there. You can also move your wrist if you want. Okay, and insert that uh, needle in the back loop right there and knit it. Okay, and you increased by one. And knit, continue knitting last four stitches. Now we will need to do the row B. In row B we have two extra stitches. This this yarn needs to be back there. Okay. Alright. So we will knit our first four stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay. And now we need to increase again and again in that leading. We will go and pick up that leading uh, stitch and we will do it, let me see, from the back. And we will purl it. Okay. So again, let me go and demonstrate one more time. This yarn in between the stitches is leading yarn. You pick it up from the back and then you need to purl you need to purl this stitch so you know you know how to purl right and you purl it okay and now you will purl until you reach last four stitches right there these okay so let's do that purl all the way to those last four stitches Pearl, 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 ladies and gentlemen. When you get to the last four stitches, then you, what you need to do is again pick up that leading yarn between the stitches from the back to the front, back to the front, and do the same thing like we did over here, pearl, pearl it, okay? So that means uh, yarn forward, uh, needle in front of the uh, left right needle in front of the left needle wrap and uh, wrap the yarn and push it back okay and we knit last four stitches so we will repeat uh, the these two rows that we just did one more time so we will knit first four stitches knit 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 now we need to in on this uh, uh, knit uh, on this knit side <laughs> on the knit side yes <laughs> we need to pick the yarn from the back and do the uh, right increase, okay? Knit wise, we will go and do a knit stitch and then knit all the stitches to the last four stitches, last these last four stitches where we will just right in front of those we will increase. So let me see, yeah, four stitches. Now we will pick up that leading yarn again between the stitches. And now we will go from front to back. And then we will go again through the back loop and knit it. And knit last four stitches. And on the purl side, we're doing it in a different way. We are always picking from back to front and purling those two stitches in both places. So let, let me demonstrate one more time. So we knit first four stitches. One, two, 
three, four. Over here we will pick the yarn from the back to the front and then we purl it. Okay? And we purl the stitch. Okay, and now we purl all the way until we reach last four stitches. And we will repeat what, what we just did right now. We will repeat it again. One more. And again from back to front. Okay, and purl that stitch. And purl it. You see, we don't have that big hole there. And now knit last four stitches and knit last four stitches okay so we increased now by two stitches in each row and we did four rows so we increased by eight stitches now we what we will do is do the same thing in row A okay we will always increase in row A and we will stop increasing in row B, which is on the purl side. And we will do it the same way like we always do. So let me demonstrate this side. One, two, three, four. And we will increase, make one right. So from the back to the front. And and knit it. Okay. Now we will knit all the stitches. Okay. And before last four stitches, we do another increase, but left one, left. So we go from front to back, and then we knit through the back loop again. And knit uh, last four stitches. So now we, this is what you will do several times. You will increase this way, just like we did increased in this row, okay? And no increase in this row, okay? So this is row A and row B. And you will repeat row A and B uh, a few times. I'll post uh, on the video how many how many times you need to do that because I'm not sure yet I have to measure when I get to where I need to get to okay so we will just need first four stitches purl in between and knit last four stitches no increase now okay and so I will now repeat uh, these two rows I will do that about uh, three times and then I'll get back to you when I when I do this three more times that means six rows okay I am finished with my three more repeats which means I increased in row A and no increase in row B no increases on this side okay and I actually already marked my uh, what was going on in here I marked it so this is my 11 ro repeats uh, uh, row A and B then two repeats of uh, increasing in every row and over here this is the part where I increased every other row right so now what we need to do is do four rows of uh, uh, row A and B that means two repeats, row A, then row B, row A, and row B, okay? So we will do that with no increases. So knit entire row, then the, that we, that's uh, row A, then row B you will knit four, purl in between, and knit last four stitches, and then repeat that one more time, okay? And when I am finished with my four rows, I will tell you what to do next. I am finished with my four rows of no increases. Okay. And now I will do one 
in this next row I will do one uh, two increases in each uh, uh, spot in those two spots where we usually increase okay and then I will do three rows with no increases uh, by the way if you're wondering what I have in here um, rubber bands because I usually lend my knitting needles to people and I just don't have my number 13 long knitting needles so I needed to use these 10 inch long ones and just put my rubber band so the knit doesn't fall off my needle because it's getting too too much too too many stitches in here for this short needle anyway so uh, we will increase in this row and uh, I don't think I really have to show you uh, anymore no, from back to front, that's the right increase, right slanted increase, I should go and say, okay? And then we will do the left slanted right there. So do that and then knit uh, three more rows without any increases. That means you will knit row B, row A and row B again without any increases. All right, and now the left increase. And knit all the stitches. And now I will just um, knit row B, row A, and row B without any increasing. Okay, so I'm finished with that one increase and then three uh, rows no increases and what we will do now uh, we will start doing the ribbing for the waist um, area okay and also I wanted to say that if you count these squiggly lines you should have uh, 21 of them I have 11 up to here and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten up to my needle so that's 21 of them okay and also you should have 34 stitches all together now in here so and uh, remember how we did the ribbing um, when we started over here so you will knit first stitch and knit second and then purl and then you would will do uh, knit purl to the end and you will knit last stitch so it's knit and purl okay knit and purl and when I get to the end this will be knit this will be purl and this will be knit that's how it should be when you're knitting also so um, do two rows like this so this is my first row and then do one more row I'm finished with my two rows that I did my ribbing which is knit purl knit purl and um, now we are ready to do our buttonholes actually and we will make it in a very simple way so this is how we, we will do it we will knit first two stitches knit and knit now we do yarn over and we will knit two together knit two together okay so when we will be uh, knitting next row it's going to be uh, knit purl knit you see this yarn over will become a purl okay so do that until your last uh, four stitches don't knit last four stitches I will show you what to do next so do knit and purl until you reach your last four stitches okay here we are um, at the end of the row with our last four stitches that are not knitted yet and what we need to do is now purl these two stitches together you see this is our knit stitch and our next stitch is supposed to be purl 
Now this is going to be yarn over and that's going to be our knit in another row, okay? And now we will do the purl stitch again. And last stitch is knit. Okay, so we cannot just lose that uh, knit purl, knit purl um, uh, repetition, okay? So knit purl, this is going to be knit purl. Of course on this side it's going to be a little bit different. On this side, it's the the knit purl is gonna be um, the knit stitch is going to be purl stitch. So this one is knit and this one is purl. Okay, but on the other side, it's gonna be just like what I said before. So we will knit and knit, and now we will purl this stitch and knit the stitch and purl. See, and you just continue uh, your knit and purl ribbing. Okay. And do that all the way. Oops. Do that all the way here. So it's going to be knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. I'm finished with my ribbing and uh, this is our fourth row of uh, ribbing actually. And so now we are really ready to bind off. Okay, so just regular bind off. You knit first stitch, you knit second stitch, and then you pull the first stitch over second stitch. You have first stitch on, you knit next stitch, and you pull that yarn over that, you know, that stitch over the second stitch, and so on. Here we are at the end of my video. Uh, you see that I have attached already two buttons, which you can go and button up. Thank you very much for watching my video. Hopefully you were knitting along. And if not, maybe you will uh, at a later date. And again, thank you so much for sharing my videos and I hope to see you soon.